during uh, so long last week. So, how important are these in, in sort of getting out there to meet the fans and that? And um, yeah, no, there's a lot of uh, factors feeding into that. Firstly, like they've done unbelievable work down in Tullow, um, fundraising for their new facilities. Like they've an unbelievable um, uh, pitch, the 4G pitch they have down there is incredible, really. Um, so, uh, and Shawnee O'Brien has been badgering me as well to bring everybody down there. So, um, quite intimidating character, Shawnee. So, um, he got us down there eventually. So. It's amazing to see the work that they've done down there. So we went down there for the day. Um, it was good for a lot of young guys to spend that bit of time as well, getting ready for the game this week against Chile. Um, so that bit of cohesion, time together um, for a lot of the young players, how they integrated with the senior players. Um, so, yeah, no, very, very positive day out. And it was great response that the players got as well from the crowd and um, a lot of young, happy faces down there, which is great to see. So, no, really good. Um, you know, because we, we need to constantly build those links, don't we? And try and grow the game as much as we possibly can. So, um, a lot of competition out there for the attention. And we're trying to win the hearts and minds of some of these young, talented kids. Um, so, yeah, it's important that we try and do our bit. Um, and it's just even that fan engagement as well, because, you know, if you think back to the end of last season, you know, where we, you, you played a final in Europe and then you've, you've got more playoff games. So, it's trying to make sure that you know we're we're building that connection with the supporters that we have as well. So and I'll try and get it stronger. Um, so yeah, no, it's important exercise for us. Um, uh, in terms of the game on Friday against Chile, uh, how Uh, well, the big thing was yeah, trying to get a challenge for our players. You know, like if you think back to last November, you know, we, we you know, we, granted there was an extra international, so there was that window. And we were keen just to try and fill that void, um, so it gives a real sense of focus over the last couple of weeks or last week into this week, which is which is positive. Uh, get some exposure for some of our younger players against the team, as you rightly point out that you know we don't they wouldn't have known a huge amount about up until probably last week when they really started going after some of the scouting and looking at the footage um you know because chile they qualified for the world cup you know they beat a good american team over two legs um, and you can see at the end of that like what how big a occasion it was for them and how much it meant to them and um, to, to beat the states and you know the states would have a lot of names that we would know a hell of a lot more about than we would say chile um, so yeah no, it's a really good exercise for our players and even just going on to see how Chile perform even at the World Cup next year so um, it takes a lot of boxes for us um, it's something very very different um, but hopefully we'll get a big crowd Friday early start so um, 2 o'clock kick off and um, yeah it'll be good exposure to see some of the young guys playing um, as I said like, you know, Chile very big physical pack that they have um, and some skillful backs as well, and guys that can produce moments of magic. And um, just looking at the, you, you've kind of two weeks off from uh, from your last game, but um, how important are, are these uh, breaks in between just to maybe take a look at who's available and the form of players in training? Um, yeah, exactly. Like it, it, it takes a lot of boxes. Yeah, so there's there's so much rugby on at the moment. Um, with all the internationals and like it's fascinating for us to watch some of the the matchups um, because every week you know there's whatever X Men internationals and um, some great battles between you know particularly some of the northern hemisphere southern hemisphere uh, games that are played so um, there's yeah there's lots to, to look at and learn um, you know the Irish games are, are fascinating but there's the other international games that are equally as fascinating as well so um, and players that we come up against um, on a in some of the bigger particularly some of the bigger European games so um, yeah lots to reflect on um, and then for us here it's just trying to get a glimpse as to what the future looks like when you're missing a good chunk of 
the international crew away so it gives you more training time coaching time with some of the younger players so it gives you a chance to to future proof to a certain extent so um and with the fixture against chile like that's this you know trying to put into practice what we've been doing in terms of training uh, into the game scenario so um yeah no it's um there it's been enjoyable it was enjoyable last week good to get out to tullo good to get out and connect a little bit um <clears throat> but everything is geared towards this game now against chile and then we'll start to turn the page into glasgow the following week and you know we'll see who's come back post november and you know always you pick up a couple of injuries along the way and you know but we'll have a couple of guys who probably have missed november series as well that will be coming back into contention and that's just the nature of the business isn't it so um you're always missing whatever x amount of players on a, at any given weekend so um you lose some over november but you, you gain some so um but that's what you need that sort of internal competition as well and go back to the internal competition i think it's that's this period is important to help build some of that competition now for us into the future Um, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there was a few issues around the timings, but anyway, we, we've got this kick off two o'clock Friday, so you'll have to nip out of school early or nip out of work early. Um, and um, yeah, but hopefully it'll be a good game because yeah, it, 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 it takes a lot, as I said, touched on it, it takes a lot of boxes for us. Um, you know, <clears throat> you were talking about the, the, the Scarlet's game a couple of weeks ago where we had three Leicester players making their debut. Um, Charlie Tector, uh, and Ben Brownlee and Tyg McElroy, the three of them coming off the bench. So, um, and Tyg is someone that came in and played some of the A games earlier on in the season. And we had a couple of players that were uh, club players primarily, and so we're keen to reward some of those players in this game as well. So, you know, it, it, it's a little bit of everything, um, but hopefully, it'll be a good occasion for you know Leinster rugby coming up against a, an international team. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, there are just a few questions from um, Leinster Rugby TV. Um, leading up to this Chile game now, we've invited in some AIL players as well. How have they been getting on in training? Uh, good. Well, today was the first day, so um, well, we had one player in with us last week who committed to the week, and, and that's a challenge, you know, because some of the club guys have all their own stuff going on. Um, it's even nice for some of our younger players to see that. So some guys, you know, for whatever reason, have have missed out on being in a full-time professional environment, but have been in a professional environment at some point where that's been an academy player and they've gone on to play somewhere else, but are still back playing club rugby. So, um, and there's some great work going on in some of the clubs around Leinster at the moment, which is great. So, um, there's guys that are still keen to give it a go, which is fantastic to see. Um, and there should always be that space for some of those late developers. So, um, yeah, no, as I said, we're, we're, we're keen to, to give some guys a crack in this game and yeah, we'll see how they get on. Um, and then we have some young guys, some academy players that will feature as well and a number of senior players, obviously, that have probably been a bit of light on game time for whatever reason. So it's a nice mix, hopefully, the team. Um, and yeah, it should be an exciting game because again, touch on Chile, you know, as a, it's it's very much of an unknown opposition opponent. So, um, but they'll pose us plenty of problems. And you also had an opportunity to train with the senior team down in in Tullow last week. So it's good to get involved with with other teams as well when you are around the province. Um, yeah, it was great. The Tullow guys stepped in. Um, Stu gave them a good go over. So, um. But again, good skill levels. I think it's the, the challenge now is always like when the speed goes up and shoe crank the speed up for them on Thursday. Um, but no, I thought they could themselves really well. So it's great, some great imagery um, of those guys out training. Um, and again, just, you know, it was, it was like, just go back to the facilities down in Tullow, like a huge credit to everyone in the club and the fundraising work that's gone in to, to raise the funds to get the facilities that they have now because you know, the pitch that they have is incredible really um really good high quality gym as well down there so and that's why it was it allows us to base ourselves for the day and you know where we're where we're you know like there's we had the, the run of the place to ourselves which is great so um, really positive day now for us 
Um, Dan Sheehan's news today, he's been nominated for a breakthrough uh, world player. Um, what, what, how's that gone down uh, in the dressing room today? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's the honest answer. So, um, but great honour for Dan, yeah. Um, you know, like he's, it's, he's had some good rivalry trying to push his way through here. And, um, you yeah, know, it's great to see Dan kick on now. Um, very positive experience during the summer tour to New Zealand and obviously off the back of big performance last week. So that was great, great for Dan. Uh, some disappointment with the news that Martin Maloney and Kieran Frawley will be out for a while. Um, it's a tough blow to take to lose those two, particularly. Um, yeah, look, and it's unfortunately that's just the nature of the game, isn't it? So um, we're involved in a contact sport and you're going to have injuries, contact injuries. So uh, Kieran, very unlucky, and Marty as well, even probably more unlucky. Um, two incidents in games, you know, both knees. Um, you know, like look reasonably innocuous, but that's unfortunately knee is part of the body where that can happen. So, um, but anyway, we'll try and take care of the two guys as best we possibly can. Um, there's always opportunity in all these things for players just to, you know, upskill in whatever it is, other interest they have outside the game. Um, but anyway, we'll get the lads, have their procedures done and turn the page and put a good plan together and get back as best as possible. Um, you, know, you see someone like a Josh Van der Flyer who's you know done an ACL before and how he's goes about his work during that period, um, and he's a great role model for you know the next person that has that type of injury because you know, but that's yeah, as I said like that's it's part and parcel of the business that we're in. Um, it's a great game that we're involved in, but it, it's the occupational hazard of contact injuries that are that are unfortunately unfortunate parts of our game um, but hopefully we'll take good care of the two lads and we'll get them back and, and finally just uh, as you say Friday it's, it's an exciting matchup it's, it's quite a novel game uh, exciting young players and an opportunity for some club players it is worth nipping out of school or worth for um, well that would be the hope now yeah because one of the big things is for us as well like we want to try and build that connection you know we've had some great days this season already um, you know, it's something we're very conscious, particularly, you know, coming off the back of Europe being final last year and those playoff games. So we need to try and make the Ord, yes, when we play there, a very special experience. When we went down to the Aviva, it's trying to make that a special, appearance, a special uh, occasion as well. And now we're in Energia, so we want to make this a special occasion. So um, it's a slightly unusual uh, type of game, uh, but it's against an international team and we want to make sure we treat it with full respect. And um, we tried to prepare well last week, and which leads in to this week it's a relatively short week but the players the young players in particular got a lot of good work done last week so hopefully we'll have a big crowd there um because there'll be something in it for everyone hopefully um but yeah as the season goes on that connection if you think back months of the game Viva a few weeks ago amazing occasion whatever it was forty six thousand people there um the sharks game was pretty much sold out a couple of weeks before that so um which is in the rds so again just trying to build on some of that positivity at the moment and uh, get plenty of solo games.